we're just outside my salon in Chelsea, in London, SW3, and you just caught me running out of the salon, so you're really lucky to get this I'm interview. really lucky, you're the, you're the man of the hour. You are known, obviously, for doing Kate Middleton's hair. When did you meet her? When is the first time she approached you, came well, in your salon? Well, the Middletons have been coming, actually, for about eight years. The whole years. family? The mother was the first one to, to, to come to my salon. Okay. And then, of course, she bought Kate, like a lot of mothers do. And she's, we've been cutting Kate's hair since she's about 20, so we've seen her really sort of grow up through the years. And we've just been really honored that the Middletons have been so loyal, like a lot of our clients have been coming for, you know, for eight years. And that's how we built that relationship. And I think Kate used to live in this neighborhood, is that yes, right? Yes, she did. She lived just up the road. Chelsea, so yeah. she would come to see you every two weeks, every... Um, couldn't possibly tell you how many times our clients wow. come in, but yeah, she's, she's been a client for a long time. How I, is she as a I person? I can tell you, from what you see on the outside, yeah. is, um, you know, that's in the magazines and sort of on TV and stuff, but I tell you, she is just like any 28-year-old girl. She's a lot of fun, she's a very caring person, she's actually got an incredible sense of humor, um, she's very trusting, um, she is just a lovely, lovely girl. The relationship between a hairdresser and their client is, is, very, is a very personal one and um, that's just putting Kate aside but it's the same for everybody so you know my relationship with Kate in, that, in, in those terms you know, have to really sort of stay within the four walls. Did you know they would get engaged? Um, no I didn't, I didn't know that, I, I hoped they would, yeah. I hoped they would. Um, we only found out when, when the world found out. What was your November. reaction? Um, you know, it was, it was just incredible, you know, I was really, really pleased for them and, and I'm sure like with any girl that's been going out with a guy for sort of seven or eight years, I'm sure she, she really hoped deep down that he was going to ask her to marry. So, when is the last time you saw her? Um, Maybe you can tell? You can't really, can't really okay. say that, but, but you know, we, we've, we, we, we see Kate on a, on a regular basis. You probably imagine what you would love her hair to look like on the wedding day. Is this something you could... No, you can't tell me what, what you would what like. I okay. That, what I would love her hair to be like. Um, you know, at this stage, you know, what I what I can say yeah. is is that we've been very proud to look after the Middletons and Kate for for eight years. We were extremely privileged to be asked to do the pictures for the engagement. Yes. And that is her. You know, that beautiful hair that she's got, yeah. which the press here named the Chelsea Blow Dry. So, you know, that is absolutely fantastic for us. And There's really, a name for that. Yeah, uh, they're calling it the Chelsea Blow Dry. Which is? Can you describe which is it? Which just this beautiful long glossy hair, mm -hmm. um, long layers, beautiful condition, shiny hair. It needs to almost look quite organic. It's hair that moves, it has the swish factor, it hasn't got lots of product in it. Um, that's the Chelsea Blow Dry. Last question, what can you tell us for the wedding day? Can How involved you. are you going to be? I can possibly tell you okay. anything about the wedding day, but you know, um, you've only got another day to wait. It was lovely to chat with you. Thank You're you welcome. very much, Richard. You're